Okay, so we're starting on chapter two, lesson five, adding whole numbers. I've already gotten started. I'm a little bit ahead of you guys. I've analyzed my story problem and I know that it says how many tickets were sold all together. I've circled all together and I made a note that it's telling us that we're going to need to add. So let's look at our steps to add our story problem. Step one says to add the ones. So I've added the ones and I've recorded 13 and I've shown you that I need to make sure that I put my group of ones under the ones and I put my one group of 10 up here in the tens column. Once we've done that, we move to step two where we add the tens. So we have four plus two more is six plus one more is seven and I recorded seven in the box. Step three tells us to add the hundreds. We have eight groups of 100 plus three groups of 100 gives us 1,100, which is really one group of 1,000 and one group of 100. So we record your one group of 100 here and we regroup the thousands into the thousands column. Then our last step tells us to add the thousands. We don't have any here, so six plus one is 7,000. So 6,824 plus 349 is 7,173. So let's answer their question because we have to be able to talk our math. So 7,173 tickets were sold all together. And now they want us to check to see if it's reasonable. Okay, so let's estimate. 6,800 is close to 7,000 and 349 rounds to 300. So we are at about 7,300. And you can tell by comparing those that we're not far off. Okay, as long as we're not far off, we're Okay, that's what an estimate is. It tells us that we're close. So, let's practice, okay? Now, for some of you fourth graders, and we've seen you write, we know things can get really messy. So we're gonna pretend that my card is actually a piece of lined paper that I've turned sideways. So I'm going to write 8,346 plus 7,208. And you'll see that since I'm using these lines, I can stay nice and organized. So eight plus six is, I don't know, really hard. So I'm gonna say eight plus two is 10, plus another four gives me 14. Again, I'm gonna write it here so that I can see that my ones go below the line under the ones, and my tens go all the way up to the tens column. Four tens plus one ten gives us five groups of ten. And we move on to the hundreds. Three hundreds plus two hundreds is five hundreds. That's why it's in the hundreds position. Ones, tens, hundreds. And lastly, we move to our thousands. And we can say eight plus seven is, it's one of those tough ones. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna double eight which is 16, and then take one off because this isn't really an eight, it's a seven. So I know that eight plus seven is 15. And I'm going to record my answer there. So I've used the lines of my paper to um, solve for my problem and to stay nice and organized. So here they ask you to estimate to check your work, which was chapter one, right? We were estimating. So 8,300, is that closer to 8,000 or nine? Hopefully you said it's closer to 8,000. And 7,200, is that closer to 7,000 or 8,000? Hopefully you said 7,000. And we love adding with zeros because they make our life so easy. So eight plus seven is 15. So we can show our work here in the space and we can write our answer underneath here. Does that make sense? Okay.